Are you satisfied with Canada's response to the crisis in Ukraine? I don't know enough about it to comment. I think that probably they're not doing nearly enough, though. Why, why would you say that? Uh, I think that due to the political sensitivity of the NATO countries entering into like a no-fly zone over Ukraine, they're holding back. Probably Canada's receiving more refugees than England, where I'm from, so I, I don't know. But my feeling is that the world isn't doing enough. I would say yes. Why? Uh, because I don't think what Russia is doing is proper. Um, and I think, uh, I think we have to take a stand against it. And I think Canada is doing a good job. I feel that Canadians in general have a lot of compassion towards the people there. And, um, and it sounds as though with the sanctions we're doing our part in, um, but I don't know the nitty gritty of it. Um, I think it's been well orchestrated. I think it's, um, it seems like a, a response that's been done um, alongside a lot of the uh, Canada's allies in the world and I think it's a, a smart response, yeah. I think you also have to look that Ukraine's not a NATO country as well. So it'd be awesome if the Canada and the United States could go in and um, just throw our military in there and kind of help level out the problem. But in reality, I don't, all, I don't think it's a bad thing that we're not sending our troops um, to fight that war because I don't think it's our war to fight, but I do believe we should be supporting them financially as well. I just don't think we should be sending our own soldiers to go over and die if we're not directly involved. Um, to be honest, uh, Canada can do a lot of it, a lot of, uh, we say, it can send its sources uh, like we say forces of uh, military support and stuff. I think it really should have been a lot quicker because it has been on the cards for some time. Their response uh, to the crisis in Ukraine is a little soft. It's a little soft. What should they do? Uh, that's a good question. I, I'm not fully aware of all the sanctions that have been applied to this point, but there need to be an awful lot more. And there, and there needs to be some dialogue that we, we need to be talking. I believe uh, there is conversation between Ukraine and, and Canada, but I think it needs to be a much wider conversation. I'm very disappointed with Joe Biden's performance in terms of handling that situation, but uh, we are dealing with a maniac. The chickens. They, my dad was a tank driver, Second World War. NATO would have went in already. They're letting people get sacrificed. That's not right. Russia needs to be stopped. NATO has the ability to do it. All we're doing is giving Ukraine arms to go in and try to slaughter more people. We can stop that, though. Well, I mean, we're doing what we can. Uh, I guess militarily, there's not much we can do. But I guess the public's response, like donations, money, uh, offering to take in any refugees, I think it's uh, whatever we can do right now is, uh, you know, is much needed. I think Canada's beating the war drum a little too much. I think Canada should be more on the humanitarian side and less on the war on the warmongering side. I believe uh, Canada's response on imposing sanctions was the right move to do without getting deeply involved because I understand that uh, Putin had made assumptions or allegations that he may use like nuclear war and that's the last thing we need and uh, it is troubling as it is right now if that is what it takes I believe Canada is doing the right thing right now but I believe there could be more okay for the, the global perspective uh, it, it's very slow which is understandable because it's a very touchy situation and if if countries and NATO get involved with the, the no-fly zone, that could escalate things rapidly and it would be beneficial at this point to take, still continue to take it slow and hopefully try to come up with a peaceful resolution. I think that pretty much we've done what we could do. Uh, not sure I'd want to see us do much more and I'd hate to see us do any less. I think that Canada's done a good job responding so far in terms of 
showing support, military support is also, of course, important. I think with the crisis in Ukraine, the key thing is that democracies need to stand together against what Putin is doing. Because Ukraine, and especially in the case of Canada, with the fact that we have so many people who are immigrants of Ukrainian descent, that we have ties of friendship, ties of blood to Ukraine. And so doing anything we can is key. I, I think it's great what uh, the government's doing in, con in connection with all the other, uh, other NATO uh, partners and other countries. Now, somehow, we've got to stop this, this maniac. And I don't know how to do it, but sanctions is the first place to start. Yeah, we're all going to pay for that. Food prices are going to go up. Uh, oil prices are going to go up. Gas prices are, are up. And, but it's a small price to pay uh, to help, uh, help the Ukraine. Well, uh, considering our situation as a smaller country, I think it's been an adequate response. Trying not to inflame the situation, but I think we need to uh, provide Putin with a way out, and we haven't done that. So by increasing sanctions, et cetera, uh, we need to hold some kind of carrot out to, to allow him an exit strategy. So that's my only fear that uh, when you have a sociopath backed into a corner, um, and the whole, world is, the whole world is against him, without an exit strategy, it could be trouble.